Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Andreas Peterson. I'm representing Mindbox today. Uh, I want to talk to you about data and how to store data. So there is a problem. When you store data the way it's usually done, to, uh, done uh, you trust a cloud provider or you trust a cloud provider to back up your data. And uh, that cloud provider is not always incentivized to be your best friend. They can turn over your data to some third party, they can sell your data, or they can simply decide to go out of business because it's no longer profitable for them to do so. And we think we have a solution for that. A peer-to-peer -peer network cannot go out of business. Um, with distributed storage and blockchain technology, uh, we are now able uh, to create a network of nodes that are, allow you to back up your data into a new type of cloud. So what we have developed is Mindbox. Uh, Mindbox is a physical product. It's a box uh, made with HP hardware where you, can, uh, where you have your own data center and uh, you can share your free space and earn some money, cryptocurrency with it. And uh, this cryptocurrency is then in turn used to buy for the backup space in this network. So this is what we call the magic mind box. And because you share your free space, you're actually paid for your free space. So there is a possibility that the money you uh, invest into the mind box, you might get it back over a, a certain time frame. So when you back up your data into this new type of cloud, it's not only backed up on your computer or on someone else's computer, it's backed up on many people's computer and it's split up in a specific way. Um, and we use a specific blockchain for that. So we have evaluated a number of different approaches in this area, IPFS, um, uh, SIA, uh, we have uh, looked at StoreJ, and we have seen that uh, currently the SIA blockchain is the most advanced uh, blockchain, that is a specialized blockchain, it's not Ethereum or Bitcoin, it's a specialized blockchain where you can build smart contracts on but they are, uh, you don't store the data in the blockchain, you store just a smart contract to enable someone else to store the data for you. So today this is already a working marketplace. Um, hundreds of nodes are already participating in this network and uh, a lot of them come online every day and when, when Mindbox fully launches we will add thousands of nodes to this network as well. And this is a liberated marketplace. So this is the difference between a centralized entity managing all the free space and where it's, uh, where it's stored and shared. Um, this enables you to uh, have a marketplace where the uh, quality of how you store your data matters a lot. So when a, a customer uh, uses Mindbox versus a traditional cloud solution, you can see over time they spend a lot of money on their uh, cloud storage. So 960 euros is a typical price uh, for one, uh, two terabyte of storage for four years. Uh, with Mindbox, you buy the Mindbox device up front, you pay a certain amount of money, about 700 euros, um, and then you can rent out your free space that you don't use, the six terabytes that you don't use. So how do we make money out of that? So we sell this hardware at a premium because it's an integrated hardware software solution. We provide ser services and licenses and integration services into, into enterprises and also we process transactions. We have a unique server-side uh, stack that enables us to optimize the network where people will pay us for certain types of information how to most efficiently store the data in this uh, network. So who will be the first consumers or companies that will uh, work with us, those are people mostly that have some sort of uh, custodianship over data from their customers. So for example, law firms, doctors, so on. Uh, video surveillance is a huge topic because there you need a lot of backup space and also the prosumers like the GoPro user or the video producer or the cryptocurrency enthusiast who is simply uh, intrigued by this concept. We have a good traction, we are supported by a lot of organizations in Austria and internationally um, we were part of a Kickstart Accelerator in Zurich for three months and we are currently applying to ASA as well. So who is behind Mindbox? So Vlado Petrushev, my co-founder, he has a background working in data centers at IBM. Um, he also was part of the StoreJ project where he uh, did some marketing and uh, research for them. 
I'm, my background is in cryptocurrencies. I worked on the Mycelium wallet where I secured the funds of a lot of users and uh, it's still uh, secure, or still today secure. And we have a great team of tech people and graphics designers and uh, financial people who work for us and already apply for us. And uh, we like to grow this team. So thank you for your attention.